All right, so today we're going to go over how to set up your Mojo Dialer. So the first thing we're going to do is, hey, maybe we need to find Mojo. So let's just go ahead and find Mojo Dialer. All right, so there's a whole bunch of different dialers out there that you can use, Vulcan, Red X. I just happen to use Mojo. So you go into the Mojo Dialer, it's Mojo Cells. Um, you can sign up for it. I already have mine. You're just going to go ahead and log in. So pretty simple. By the way, I'm Joe Grant out here in Virginia. I am a cold calling realtor and I use a triple line dialer to go ahead and make contacts. Um, this tool is so versatile. It works with cold calling expires, withdrawals, pre foreclosures, neighborhood searches, FISBOs. You can import your own leads. You can use the leads that they provide for you. All right, so the first thing that we need to do after we have it set up, let me move my head. Um, don't know if you can see this window, but I got to move it out of the way anyways. All right, so we're going to come over to settings. And we've got to set up a caller ID. So this is my first caller ID, but we're going to add a second line in here just to show you. And each phone has to have a label. So we're just going to call this cell phone two. And you want to have it whitelisted. Basically, it's going to help it um, not get hit by spam because it's going to give it a caller ID to it. And we're just going to call this one REA. So you're going to notice on this screen, you got Realtor Jane Doe, Realtor J Doe, Jan Doe, Realtor, um, all these different abbreviations. You can write Realtor, REA, something you have to identify yourself. That way, it can actually be whitelisted. Here's the terms and conditions check the box and hit verify. You're going to go ahead and continue. It's going to say, hey, this is what you want your caller ID to read as. The answer is yes. All right, and it's going to show up inside here. So now it's going to go ahead and call me to validate this is my phone number. And I'm going to answer that phone. And it just wanted me to press one to confirm that it was me. That's simple. All right, so that is literally how you set up your caller ID. Not very difficult. Literally go in, enter your phone number, give it a name, whitelist it, and soon this one will go from yellow over to green. All right, we'll put together more videos on how to use the application, but that pretty much sums up how to go ahead and get yourself set up to give you a quick sneak peek inside the dialer. You've got properties, call lists, groups, and profiles. This right here you're looking at is just a list of pre-foreclosures. And the last time that we called was about two days ago. Have a great day.